rundown of the forecast from Violet. First things first, Violet, tomorrow is going to bring some wintry weather, right? Yes, and I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, are we going to get a white Christmas? Well, we will get a few chances this week to actually see some accumulating light snowfall. If you notice behind me, we are seeing dry weather for right now. A live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Fossil Service Experts. But our next snowmaker arrives as early as tomorrow morning. This area of low pressure looks to slide in with a weak warm front overnight, which will hold our temperatures right around 30 degrees all night long. Then this cold front arrives going towards tomorrow morning. It will bring a line of some scattered snow showers area wide around 7 a.m. Then behind that, we'll eventually get some lake effect snow developing with some windy conditions and even some moderate pockets of snow the second half of the day. So to sum up your forecast for tonight, a low near 29 with mostly clear skies, then increasing clouds late and our temperatures warm back up into the lower 30s by tomorrow morning. Looking ahead to tomorrow, starting the morning with that line of scattered snow showers as a cold front heads through. We'll hit a high near 36 during the middle of the day. Then behind that cold front, we'll get some lake effect developing in the afternoon with moderate pockets and windy conditions, which means that we could see some lowered visibility and some slushy and even icy roads, especially towards the evening time and after sunset. How much snowfall we can expect through the day Wednesday up until Thursday morning is when it tapers off. Through the throughway and into Syracuse about one inch or so, but further south, that's where we're going to get a better accumulation. About one to three inches in the hilltop south of Syracuse, maybe a localized four or five inches under the most persistent lake effect snow bands that we see. Same thing for the North Country, the Tug Hill and the Adirondacks will get a general one to three inches with up to four to five inches and again under those most persistent snow bands. In general, though, tomorrow, just take caution while you're driving. We are going to see some wet or slushy roads and even some icy spots developing towards Wednesday night. Heading into Thursday, the roads look good as we get some more sunshine and things dry out. And Friday as well. We'll just get some light snow overnight Thursday and into Friday that could produce another couple of inches, but eventually the plows will get that out of the way and we have a nice dry day for traveling on Friday. Looking ahead to Saturday, that's when we'll get a wintry mix in central New York, snow to the north and sleet and freezing rain in Syracuse and areas further south. Let's time out your forecast. For tonight, temperatures in the lower 30s right now. Increasing clouds overnight as a cold front arrives. It moves in around 7 a.m. tomorrow morning with a line of some area-wide light snow showers. Then behind that cold front, we'll get a west wind around noon. That will bring some lake effect in the north country. Afternoon, then we get a northwest wind. That drops the lake effect snow bands further south into Syracuse in the southern tier by Wednesday night, eventually drying out through the morning hours on Thursday. And as we check out your seven day forecast behind that weather maker on Wednesday, we just have a few snow showers early Thursday, a dry day on Thursday, then a couple more inches of snow overnight Thursday into Friday, but another dry day on Friday before a wintry mix arrives on Christmas and then some lake effect snow showers into Sunday. Back to you.